What is up guys, it's Spunkify here for MMOHut.com and today I'm going to be doing a first impression gameplay video for Super Monday Night Combat, a 3D MOBA style shooter game developed by Uber Entertainment. I'll spend about 15-20 uh, minutes or so checking the game out, I'll make some comments. If you want to learn more about Super Monday Night Combat or you want to read the full review, do check out the link below at MMOHut.com. So to start off with, let's go ahead and click play here and I'm going to join US East which has 675 players. West only has 2 players right now, so quick match here, it's going to find some players. I do need to mention Super Monday Night Combat is a sequel, much like Blacklight Retribution was a sequel to an original game that was posted on Xbox Live for $15 called Monday Night Combat. And the premise of the game was essentially to have two teams filled with shooters, you know, like uh, different types of shooters, uh, tanky shooters, uh, you know, more melee style shooters with, you know, blasts, etc. like that. And you basically go and you push enemy bots or you push your bots past the enemy bots to a money ball which is essentially like your base much like your nexus in league of legends and etc like han heroes and new with etc so you push them to the base and you have your skills which you upgrade to actually get better you know better damage for them as well as more hp more defense etc so you have all these things so there's different classes that you can unlock and different classes you can play and you can also tweak them using things called you know basically like perks where you can make yourself have more HP, move faster, take less damage, do more damage, etc. So if we go here while we're waiting on players, you see the locker room real quick. Uh, we can see all the different classes here. You can actually look at them. So we have assault classes, assassin. They're broken up here on the left hand side by strikers, enforcers, sharpshooters, which are like snipers, defenders, which are like tanks. You have enforcers, which are like bru bruisers or brawlers. They go in first. And then you have strikers, which are the damage dealing, like the assault type class. Commandos are the assassin classes. And then you see them all. So you can see all their abilities here. You can see their uniforms, which you can unlock, you know. And again, this isn't the beta stage, so I imagine these things are unlocked with either in-game credits or with, you know, buy to play or buy uh, to wear. Um, so basically, it's not meant to be pay to win. You know, uh, the, the, the structure currently is that you buy the outfits, and these outfits are what actually make you unique. But the actual, as you can see up here, you have your credits, and then you have your, this is uh, your Uber credits, essentially, which are the pay to play or pay to buy ones. But your credits here allow you to unlock better perks and etc like that and you can unlock that with oh look see you can't unlock it with any you need 600 of the normal credit so it shows it right there and then you can see you can do your uh, custom selection of classes so once you get to a certain level you can actually select your class and customize it individually rather than doing the preset ones endorsements are things like fire rate health recovery reload speed you can see all these here and you can unlock them with 200 of the normal credits so again you know it's not really a pay to win you have the ability to just play the game normally and unlock these credits just like you would in any other free to play mmo or moba style game like league of legends as for products these products here all you upon death release a fiery bomb with the 2.5 second fuse for 25 damage and burns so these are things like you know extra little abilities or perks much like i guess you could say summoner spells on league of legends these just allow you to customize your combat a little bit more either after death or upon spawning etc so it looks like we're going to be loading in the game and that's the little official mascot there the little money ball dude and uh, i have to say that i actually paid for the game when the game came out uh, for the xbox live and it was 15 bucks and actually it was a pretty fun game there, there wasn't a lot of a huge market for at the time and being a $15 game with only a few maps it wasn't exactly as popular as hoped although it was a good game so hopefully the Super Monday Night Combat uh, will have see much more growth seeing that it is going to be free to play and we'll have a lot of people actually play it because I think it actually presents a pretty unique aspect on the MOBA genre being that it is a shooter style MOBA it's focused more on the action base not so much farming and, and ganking etc alrighty here so let's see uh, this guy looks pretty cool. I'm just going to go with him. And I don't actually don't know what he does. Let's see here. Standard class, his name's Carl. All right, Carl. Not bad. Can I go back and choose another one, though? Select pro. Okay, here we go. So it looks like, you know, we can only have one per team. Oh, wait, no, like, looks like uh, we can have one per, per team. Uh, I was interested to see why there was the X on here. Is there any females? Yes, there are females. Although not not exactly the females that uh, we here at MMO Hut endorse. You know, the nerdy females. We we go for the more uh, revealing females. Which perhaps there's uh, some kind of class that or class uh, uniform that we can get that that does that for us. Although that it's not too bad right there. 
All right, so if we were able to actually customize a class like we were that high, we would be able to do so right here, right before the game started. Now the game is set up more like a like a national sport. So you see, there's an announcer, and we have a stadium, and we're gonna play below. So this is, looks like an Aztec style volcano thing. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Twins too. Double the fun, double the pleasure. All right, let's get into this game then. So we're waiting for this game. Looks like I am a robot class. Now I can hit B here and actually upgrade one of my abilities to so level one, much like you could in League of Legends. And let's see here. Short circuit. Carl tosses out a charge that stuns and damages Inu. Carl throws out Junior. Junior sounds cool. Let's go with that. So close. All right, here game starts. So I can use my left mouse button to fire, and my right mouse button is a kind of toggled or much you know stronger ability. I can reload by hitting R there. So I can actually gain experience by killing other players and by killing the bots and the actual extra gold which I do get from killing the bots or players will allow me to then build up further my abilities and my HP. I can also, as you can see over there, those little bot things, I can unlock other bots which actually will push the lane harder than the standard bots which you can see right there. See if I can uh, get a bot right there and killed him. Alrighty here. So let's see if I can use one of my abilities throwing something out there I don't know what that did but you know it's always good to just try out stuff kill that bot right there now I can use E here to throw out another brain which is looks like a bubble shield or some sort oh wait no it's that junior thing junior thing looks like he's doing quite a bunch of damage it's almost like a mine I guess you could say they're pushing up this lane here oh there's an enemy player and he is more of a tank role so he is taking lots of damage from us not going to be able to do much there I'm going to throw out that bomb. Level 2. So I can come over here. Whoa! Guy behind us. That looks like an assassin character. Yeah. So the assassins are able to go stealth. And they can come up behind you and backstab you. Do all kinds of crazy damage. Alright. So it looks like I can pro hop. Which jumps into the air. Let's see if I can do that. Nope. That's that. Maybe this might. There we go. That jumps. Whoa. Frame rate lag. So Q allows me to jump into the air. Which is my first skill. I also have shift and E. Which are my other three skills. Or other two skills rather. This guy's trying to pull me in here. See if I can fire off a bigger blast. I'm gonna reload my weapon there. So we just keep this lane pushed. Now we have to watch out for people though jumping in behind us or jumping up from above. Pins you can get up there. Whoa. So I'm not actually sure what Q does. Maybe Q does damage to my guys below me. We'll find out. I'm gonna throw out that little Carl bot there. See if we can do some damage. I need to back up, don't I? This guy is uh, going to do a lot of damage to me. All right, let's fire that out. Maybe we can do some damage with that. They're pushing pretty hard. I need a backup. Oh, I got pulled back. I think I have a shield, though. Yeah, I do have a shield. It does recharge, which is nice. So I've shielded them in my normal HP. So let's push these guys up here. Fire out, like, a little charge. Do some extra damage. It doesn't look like I do a lot of damage right now to the bots. But it looks like I'm more of a, like, artillery uh, support. Not support, but uh, kind of utility class. This guy is chasing me super hard, and I keep trying to use that ability, which does nothing for me right now. Oh, he's trying to pull. I am, man, not this lag. <laughs> so it doesn't look like the game is fully optimized. Again, it is in beta, so there is a I mean, a further optimization to goo. go. Not goo, but uh, it's not. It's not actually a pretty fun, a bad game. It's uh, it's pretty fun, especially if you have like a team of players, much like you would have a team of players on League of Legends. I'm this guy is shooting me from behind here. I keep trying to push that button. I don't. I don't mean to do that. I mean to just like shoot like my grapple or whatever. Oh, this guy here is like on the roof. Oh, okay, that's a roof. I see. All right, let's see if I can actually go up there. So these things are here are the jump pads. If I go on this jump pad here, I can enable it by hitting F, and that allows me to jump up. So I don't want to take too much damage. Oh God! Stab me in the face! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Uh, come on! Come on! I just want to shoot my ability. What? There's a guy behind me too. It's like a monkey robot. And I was taken out. So Hill, which is a gremlin, took me out up there. So I wonder if those gremlins are uh, team specific or I wonder if they're just like random mobs that are in the game. Much like they would be in League of Legends in the jungle. And I think I leveled it up again. Yeah, so let's see here. I can upgrade this. Cross this out and charge the sunset. So exactly, Carl jumps high into the air, damaging and blowing back enemies. Oh, okay, so if they're near. So I'm going to go ahead and increase all the damage done by my weapons right now. Because it looks like I don't do a lot of damage with my normal melee, or sorry, normal range attacks. Let's go ahead and move forward here. There's a big bot I need to take out. Oh, this guy's coming up from behind. <laughs> and I need to throw that out there, maybe to get some damage done. 
So those guys are pretty mobile. It's pretty hard to take them out because they can just quickly jump away. I'm going to throw that out there. Got to take out the spot. So somebody probably spawned the spot. I keep using that ability without meaning to. So I'm going to keep shooting that. Throw that that little Jerry guy. Hopefully he can do some damage. So if they stand in here, it actually will attach to them and do a lot of damage. We are getting pushed pretty hard in this lane. As you can see, there's two lanes. You can see at the, at the top exactly how well they're pushing. We have our static turrets here, and I can actually upgrade these turrets by hitting B, I believe. No. Maybe certain classes. I think the engineer class, at the original Monday Night Company, you had the engineer class, and the engineer class, what is this? Right, I'm going to shoot that. The original engineer class basically uh, could upgrade those turrets and actually unlock, everybody can unlock them, but the engineer can upgrade them or make them better, as well as having like a standard mobile turret as well. So I want to throw that out there. I'm going to throw this out as well. Oh god, there's so many guys up here. I'm running away. I'm running away. Oh my god, I'm gonna get away. I gotta get away. Gotta get away. Looks like I got an assist though. I will take it. I keep okay, that is, that shouldn't be on Q. Like that ability is not <laughs> that's not a good ability for Q. Let's see if I can take this guy out though. Throw that out. See if it attaches to him, does some damage. <laughs> that's my lowest cooldown, I think, too. Shooting those out here. I need to watch out though. I am taking quite a lot of damage here and there's this bigger robot and if I do get close to these robots they will do a lot of damage to me throw that out there I think it was another Jerry I spent an annihilator so it looks like somebody was doing pretty well on our team all right see if I can get close to this guy oh I knocked him off the map nice I got killed so that's pretty cool okay that's good use of that ability and it looks like there's also taunts too so when you kill someone you can actually do pretty whoa my lag <laughs> There we go. Nice assist. Oh, I'm getting stabbed in the back. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm stunned, looks like. Oh, this guy doing tons of damage to me. Gotta get down. Oh, run away. It's alright. I got juice, though. So what I can do is, uh, when I... Oh god. I want to juice. I want to juice. How do I juice? How do I juice? Oh, I got an assist, though. I'll take it. Ooh. I need to juice, though. Juice allows you to have extra bonus armor, HP, and do extra damage. And I think juice is... G? F? R? T? Something? Um, C? No, it's high five. H? Wait, no, that's a that's a taunt. Okay. So H is a taunt. You can taunt your enemies, which is pretty cool. But I I don't I don't want that. I want I want the juice. Let me juice. Alright, let's see if I can come up here real quickly and look at what juicing is. Juice, 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 juice. Keys, 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 keys. Ah, it doesn't show me. Juice. Alright, well, I don't know what juice is right now, but, you know, we can do this without juice. And I do have another level of my ability, which I'm going to do, and I'm going to also upgrade my HP. Alright, so let's do this here. So I can throw out this ability there, which does a lot of damage. And we need to push these lanes up, because they're, they're pretty well pushed on our side here. I just throw that out there. Maybe I can get an assist. Right, let's load. Whoa, I'm getting shot by the sniper dude. Throw that out there. I need to get closer though to do that. Oh, I can also use jump almost to get up there, it looks like, for this class. Man, but I am experiencing quite a bit of lag. I'm doing a lot of damage to that guy. And we got a 91 assist. I'll take it. Alright. <laughs> I am never going to keep... <laughs> I really should bind that one whenever I play that character, this character, to a different one, because that is not, that is not the one I want to use all the time. Shoot a bigger blast, maybe. I've got juice. I just want to use it. Looks like somebody was able to shield me too, because I saw like a little shield around me. Come on, this thing has a lot of HP. It's almost like a, a tank bomb. There's some guys up there. There we go. So, oh, bot streak. I'm killing some bots, and a nice little streak it looks like. Alrighty here. And it looks like I leveled up quite again. So let's see if I can go here. I'm going to increase my weapon damage again. Alright. Let's see if I can move forward now. And I can use... Oh, my right mouse button. Okay, so my right mouse does like an AoE, which is really effective for clearing out the bots. That's really nice to know. I'm going to use this now to jump up here. Almost jump up. And let's see if... Oh, there's an enemy bot that's just like mine. And I'm getting, I'm getting meleeed by these bots, ah. 
those little gremlin bots up there doing tons of damage. Looks like I'm getting healed though, which is pretty nice. Can I throw that up there? I can throw that in midair. I want to. I want to throw the other one. All right, so come up here. Can I? Can I shoot him? Can I get him with this? Yeah. Push you with that. Run away! Run away! And he hit by the. He was hit by that thing as well. Hot shots turret destroyed. Got some points there as well as XP. So it looks like when the enemy team's turrets are destroyed, you get bonus experience as well as bonus gold or in this game coins that you can use to spend on upgrades. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna do this one now. All right. So it looks like it also reduces the cooldown when you do that, which is nice. You know, some of the legends when you upgrade your uh, ability, it reduces the cooldown. You can use it much more often. What is this thing? All right. So yeah, it's, this is pretty hard to record with. Oh, there's a guy up here. I throw those out. No, I'll, I'll help you, I'll help you. They're stunned, which would help them a lot. And they're having to run away. So I did help my opponent there, or rather my teammate, rather. This guy's back up here. Oh, can we take him out? Oh, he's so low. Where'd you go? Oh, no, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I was stupid there and just dropped down the turret. I thought I could kill a guy. I didn't know there was actually a turret there, unfortunately. And yeah, they, uh, the only thing I can say right now is it's definitely not optimized for recording. I may have to uh, turn down some settings, but it, you know, it was running fine without recording. And it uh, just looks like it's it's that little cap there isn't doing so hot. Alright, but it looks like right now we're kind of winning. We have a pretty far push up there. It looks like we took out... Either we're doing really well, or we took out another thing, which is pretty awesome. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually use your scroll wheel to actually get into a different weapon. So it looks like I now have a grenade launcher. We got another turret of theirs. So I can throw these grenades out. Either that or they're like tiny little mines. Oh, and then, okay, so when you have that weapon out, you can actually right-click to grab. So when I have this weapon out, I can grab a guy and do extra damage to them. Here, let's move up. I keep, I need to rebind that weapon. Like I'm never gonna get used to that. Let's throw that out there. Stun that guy. They're pushing pretty hard though. Let's throw that out there. I'm getting focused though. I just jumped off the map. <laughs> Wow, I was trying to jump backwards and hopefully go upside, but unfortunately I was able to. Wait, let's look cool that you get to see the stats. You can see how many times you killed a guy, how many times you died to a guy, and how many assists you've had against him. So I killed myself there with the assist of the enemy team, unfortunately. All right, so let's move up here. I got a little speed boost as I got out of that. I'm gonna go kill this guy here. Ah, oh, come back, I'll take it. Let's throw that out there. I'm gonna scroll off to this guy. I'm gonna scroll this weapon. Try to clear these things out. Come on, come on, bro. Let's fight. Let's fight. Let me go up here and see if I can kind of flank around. Do you need to watch out though for these guys up here? These little monkey robots. I see you. You think you're funny, but you're not. Yeah, stay up there. Those little assassin robots. All right, so we got this thing here. It's like it's like basically a proximity mine. All right, throw that up there. Stun that guy. All right, here. I need to get rid of that. Looks like a little turret from the enemy team. They're like little mini turrets all over the place. All righty. There's a guy right there. Whoa. I, I'm just never gonna get used to it. I'm totally wasting that ability, I know. Alright, see see I have to use shift for the other one. So when I when I'm using shift, like it doesn't seem like natural for me to to use up that with shift. And uh, let's see if I can actually maybe get something in here. I need to uh, help my team out here. They're pretty well pushing here pretty hard and oh I'm getting stepped in the face. Oh, I got an assist though, blowing him away. I I live. Woo. Let's see if I can go. Can I get healed up? Looks like I'm getting healed up from a teammate, maybe. I also can level up again, so let's get some HP. 
Alright, so it looks like I was able to stand near something and actually get a, uh, a heal. And there's just all kinds of madness. Look at all this damage going out. I got taken out. Hill was shooting at me. It looks like I had three people shooting at me. So now they're pushing pretty hard on us. We were pushing pretty hard on them, but now they've got a quite a big wave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to go get some bots to help us push out. So one, zero. All right, let's do this. So I can come over here, as you can see. And I can... Oh, I don't have enough gold to spawn that. Can I spawn this one? I can spawn that one. So I'm going to hit F there. Spawn that. Hopefully that'll help us push out just a little bit. Because they have quite a lot of uh, robots pushing on us. And let's see if I can toss that out there. Do some do some nice little damage. But I missed it. So it's a skill shot, essentially. All right, so let's see. Can I hit that? I'm going to... Okay, so... I'm going to kill this thing right here, because we don't need this thing. And I leveled up to level 9. So it looks like H ability levels up 4 levels. Alright, yeah, let's throw out Junior again. And I got an assist. Nice. Throw out Junior again. Oh man, this thing is just destroying me. I need to get away, get away, get away. Throw that out. Oh, did I stun him? No. But I got an assist again. Those robots just do a lot of damage. Can I repair this though? No, it does not look like it currently. We need to have uh, a good push here, unfortunately, where we need to move up. Let me get out this thing and uh, lob some grenades from afar. Yeah, the grenades do a lot of damage. They're just a little bit less accurate, it looks like. Let's throw those out there. Kind of clear out those smaller creeps really fast, or those smaller robots, rather. Whoa. It looks like I get random shield boosts from different areas. Alright. Come on. This robot here. Oh, it looks like the Annihilator is ready, which is like a giant robot that pushes the map really fast, almost like a super creep. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Somebody just hit me with something crazy. But I am getting killed up now. There's a guy up there, though. I need to shoot you with this. Oh, actually, no, that's the... That is the smaller guy. Alright, let's see if I can come around here. I need to try to go flank that guy. Maybe I can grab him. Let's see if I can grab him. Can I grab him, guys? Nope, there's this guy up there, though. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Nope, he's sniping me pretty hard. And now there's this robot. And now I need to run away. And now I'm getting hit by this robot. <laughs> then those bouncers. Ah. Uh, he just grabbed me and threw me on the ground. How am I doing? Am I doing okay? I'm not the worst. Two, five, and seven. The worst on our team. It's because I have uh, extra. I have extra, you know, assists, etc. Like that. I've killed 50 bots. Not the highest, not the lowest. But I mean, this is only my second. The first game I tried to record, I actually bugged out, so I wasn't able to use that game. All right, see here. Can I throw that out there? And I threw this. Yeah, there we go. There's a nice stun. Doing some good damage there. Come on, let's throw these out in the wall, see if they can bounce next to them. Yeah, I'll do that all day. Come on, what do you got? Alright, let's kill this here. Do not need that up there. Looks like we're doing we have a nice push going there right now though. Alright. Let me move forward. Oh hey there. Come on. Come on. I'm pretty squishy, so I do need my team here to uh, to back me up. Come on, shoot that out. Oh god, oh god, come on. What do you got? I'm trying to shoot this a-hole over there. I almost got grappled by something else. All right, level ten. All right. So yeah, this this game is pretty fun. I mean. It, Considering the fact that uh, it is in beta, you know, there's obvious things to work out, but it offers a... Whoa, I see you. I see this guy. He's trying to, like... Oh, he, this guy totally whiffed his jump. Now he's having to run upstairs. But, you know, considering that it offers something new to the genre, I mean, the only other third-person uh, MOBA that I can think of is Loco. And Loco hasn't been really popular lately. So, Loco is, uh, you know, it's still a traditional, like, MOBA where you push the lane with the creeps, whereas this is much more focused on heavy, you know, actual PvP combat. And the matches last pretty long too. I mean, this match has gone on for 24 minutes or so right now. So if it's a good game, then these matches can persist for quite a while. 
I need to watch it when I'm up here, though. I'm getting slashed. Why is the brawler going after me? I am running him down, though. So. Oh, Bullseye up there, though. He will actually give you bonus ex bonus gold by killing him as well as items, I believe. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to shoot him. Get all that gold out of him. Look at all this stuff. Come on. Give me, give me. Nope, nope. Maybe I can shoot from down here. Yeah, so it looks like those bots are actually activated by someone else. Because they always seem to go after me. So use Q here. Blow those guys back. Alright. I'm gonna level up again. And I'm gonna choose this guy again. Oh, it looks like I can't. Uh, it looks like I have to go for something else first. Oh, because it was maxed out. Okay, I see. Alright, so max level is for Whoa, and there's the giant bot. The giant bot does tons of damage. As they say. And I need to uh, throw out stuff here because they're gonna do a lot of damage to me all the time. Yeah. I don't think I can push him away. Oh god. Can you see me? Okay, he's gonna continue on the path, which is good. I'm gonna do that to jump up behind these guys. Throw that bomb out there. Maybe we can do some damage. They are pushing pretty hard. Oh man. Getting knocked around really hard. Oh god. Sliced up. Oh man, beating me in the face. Ah, oh, run away. Oh my god. All these slices. So yeah, there's the assassin just grabbing me all day, every day. Finding it really hard to get that guy. He's gotten three kills, four deaths. And I got he got assisted by a guy that had five kills and one death. So our money ball is now down, which means that they can actually attack it, which is our nexus. So we're in a pretty bad spot here. We don't have many uh, we don't have many tourists to defend us. So maybe I can throw these out here. Hopefully get some uh, get some good damage going here. Maybe I can knock these guys off. Can I knock this guy off? No, I missed. Where's our big guy? Oh, there's our money ball. So our money ball was destroyed, so we did lose the match, unfortunately. But at least you got to see exactly what a normal game of Money Night, Super Money Night Combat actually looks like. If you guys want to learn more about it, then you can check out the full review at MMOHub.com. But I want to probably end the game right here. This has been Spunk Fight Out. I'll see you later.